there is something known as attempted line breaks. Yes. This is where you try to breach yeah. the, the defensive lines. The defensive lines of your opponents. Yes. Ecuador did that 291 times. Absolutely. And you see... Uh, because that's a, sh that's a sh shocking start. And that's a... It's a shocking start, based that a game is over 90 minutes. Uh, it's, also, it's also even further shocking because what Qatar was playing was a 5-3-2. The last time a team played a 5-3-2 at the World Cup was when Germany beat Saudi Arabia. Was it 8-0? Yes. Yes. So, I mean, for all that, that they is put... <laughs> hey, that's ages ago. Yeah, it's ages ago. 20 it's 2002, years. right. So, I mean, for all that defensive mindset going into it and to be breached so many times, Number one, kudos to them for only conceding two because I think Anna Valencia should have had a hat trick in the first half. Mm -hmm. uh, but it also just shows you how much data and analytics is going into this World Cup. Uh, FIFA is saying at every stadium, there's around 28 cameras watching the players and the ball. The ball has a special chip that is able to relay information to all these cameras. And that is why even the VR decisions are faster now. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, just based on that, you understand the magnitude of just data and, anal and anal analytics that is going into this game. And if this one shocked you, I think teams like Netherlands that hold the ball for even far much longer will be having crazy numbers.